Carlton, I've been asked to ask you about Ryan, who's an Arsenal fan. Does Carlton Cole think that Raheem Sterling will be a certain surefire starter for Arteta at Arsenal? Um, yeah, off the left, maybe. I think you could be off the left because um, sometimes you look at Martinelli, on, and, and this was last season, by the way, judging. Um, he wasn't quite, quite at it. Um, and then you had to fill in that gap. I think he would be brilliant off the left, and I think he would be a starter, definitely. He's only 29, 28, 28? 20, 28, 29, 28. yeah. It's yeah. Um, so you're getting a, 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 a player that's supposed to be in his prime. Yeah, there's John, another fan, asked me to ask you, Carl, who's got the better deal here? Arsenal with Sterling, Chelsea with Sancho. <laughs> that's a good one. you got to back your man. I'm, no, no, because I, I, love, I love Raheem um, Sterling. I think he's going to be going there into a steadier project. Right now, you just don't know whether um, Chelsea's coming or going. That's all I've got to say. But I think Raheem Sterling goes into a team to add to it. And I think that's um, a steadier project for Raheem to go into. Jim, big news coming out of Chelsea. We've spoken about Victor Ozyman and how desperate they've been to bring him to the football club. No breakthrough, we're told, in negotiations between Chelsea and Victor Ozyman. We know they've had a contingent over in Italy trying to get that deal done, trying yeah. to agree personal terms. At the moment, that deal looks to be off. Looks to be off. OK, so Osman, it looks like he will not be going to Chelsea. Does that, do you think, open the door more to Saudi Arabia? Ben Jacobs will update us when he arrives. But those were the options for Osman, wasn't it? Chelsea were in trying to get him before he could go to Saudi. Now they're out the equation. It seems to me it looks like Saudi. And the key here is, of course, although our deadline is only, what, 40 minutes away from closing, the Saudi transfer window is open until Monday. So oh. still time for Osman to get this deal done between now and Monday, if indeed, as it appears, he's not on his way to Stamford Bridge. Where does that leave Chelsea in terms of a number nine? Nicholas Jackson, really, the only recognised striker, if you can call him a recognised striker. It, it leaves them quite short, definitely. Um, but it looks to me, they've got the, the young boy, Gooey, as well, that they think the world of, but I just think he's too young to burden that, that worry of being the main man at the moment. Um, they've obviously done the, the Jao Felix um, business as well, so... I think they'll have standings, but it's not a, a proper out-and-out -out number nine. If you just joined us, we're live on TalkSport, live on YouTube, live on Facebook, live on uh, TikTok. We are everywhere tonight. It's Jim White, Alex Crook, and at this stage, Carlton Cole, Ben Jacobs will join us shortly. And so too will football finance expert uh, Stefan Borson. We're all involved tonight. It's one of those nights uh, that we all get together because there's so much going on out there. If you have just joined us, this is the latest... Alex Crook is just telling us, Chelsea fans, it seems you can forget about Napoli's Victor Osman joining you. Um, he is not going to happen. It seems that he will go to Saudi Arabia, but maybe not tonight because there's a bit of a gap between now and the Saudi window closing. But it does seem, more than seem, it's happening. Jadon Sancho is going to join Chelsea, yeah, from Manchester United. It hasn't worked out for Sancho uh, in, in no uncertain terms. At Manchester United, might it work out for him at Chelsea? Well, he's hoping so, and Chelsea fans hope so as well. And as for Raheem Serling, uh, representatives and lawyers of Raheem Serling, getting on with the talking in hand, trying to get this deal done. Raheem Serling, part of the so-called bomb squad, not part of the main squad, didn't train with the main squad, was put out with the rest of the lads who are not part of the main squad, seemingly had no future at Chelsea, but now it looks like Arsenal for Raheem Sterling. Will it happen before 11 o'clock? Alex, I know you're getting information all the time. I'm going to squeeze you in before we take another break. What are you thinking? What have you got? Well, I'm just chasing up, Jim, actually. Eddie and Ketia, that was one deal we expected mm. to be announced today. Arsenal to Crystal Palace for a fee of up to £30 million. No official confirmation of that as yet. Palace busy on this deadline day. They're trying to sign Trevor Chalabar uh, on loan from Chelsea. That would be a straight loan, uh, no option or obligation to buy. They've got uh, Maxence Lacroix, another defender coming in as well. And crucially, as you've already said, Mark Gaye, one of the talking horses of this transfer window, he stays at Crystal Palace. I do wonder <laughs> for how long, because he's going to be out of contract, yep. uh, not at the end of this season, but at the end of next. Yep. I guess that's a story for another day. It's a friend of mine, John Williams, a big, uh, a big Swansea fan. Just popped you on on YouTube, Jim. Tell me about the Swans. Who are Swansea getting? <laughs> Nobody, John, by, this, <laughs> by the sounds of it. If that changes, you'll be the first to know. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.